and from uh, journalists who have been able to get these reports mm -hmm. is that people are being killed, people are being tortured, people are being cremated. Uh, you know, people are not allowed to practice religion. People are yes. uh, being stopped from, for example, uh, Muslim people are not allowed to call their children by Muslim names. Yeah, it's crazy, man. They, 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 they can't call their children the Muslim names. You know, they're trying to get rid of the Quran mm -hmm. as, a, as something to be read. Yeah. Um, anyone who's seen doing these things is, is, is yeah. immediately branded as extremist. Yeah, and again, um, and again, Muslim woman or woman to marry ch uh, Chinese uh, uh, men. Yeah, like yeah. non practicing, yeah, yeah. Um, non Muslim uh, men. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was actually a picture which I saw, which I don't know if it was authentic, but these are the things that we're hearing. And uh, they, they go to these classes, man, and they're taught, like, um, if I'm mistaken, uh, where is it? That? Uh, one second, Human Rights Watch says that Uyghur people in particular are subject to intense surveillance mm. uh, and are made to give DNA and biometric samples. Um, and all this kind of stuff, they, they're being taught about the Mandarin, the Chinese language, the culture. They're told to criticize. They're told like criticism of their uh, their culture um, and sing patriotic songs. Um, they're taught the Chinese code, uh, Chinese culture sessions they have. So there's all these things. They they start like reprogram, reprogram, re, uh, that brainwashing these people. Yeah. yeah. Don't forget, there's there's a bit of past. I mean, yeah. in terms of the history of. Um, the the Uyghurs in in China the, there is a bit of past and there's a feeling of resentment. Mm. Uh, you could say I'm not going to say uh, you know it's a, it's a major feeling. I haven't done a sociological study to see how many Chinese people, what Chinese people uh, mm. think of Uyghurs etc. But yes, there's definitely a feeling of suspicion. Yeah. Uh, if we know if we look at history like you know these individuals go back to the Mongols you know mm. the Mongol Empire in the tenth and the tw uh, maybe the twelve hundred something like this mm. you know and um, this is where how they established themselves in that region, and there was uh, there was a kind of civil unrest between the Uyghurs and uh, and others, even in the contemporary period, and so it's, they're seen as uh, as kind of like separatists. They want to be their own nation. They have their own flag, suggested flag, mm. which kind of looks like the Somali flag. It's kind of <laughs> blue with a yeah. So it's all of these things together, you know, make there's a culture of suspicion. So. Programs like this, right, become much easier for people because mm. the populace is not going to be outraged by that. Yeah. Like the mainstream Chinese population is not is not staging, you know, protests etc. on this matter. Yeah. Because th there is that history, there's that feeling of okay, well, culturally they're different to us, anyways. Mm. And so there's two issues. One is that why is this not being reported? As I think you kind of asked in the beginning. Yeah. Number one, because the Chinese don't care about it too much. You know, it's frankly, I mean, they haven't shown unless we have not been shown what they, you know, mm. we haven't we haven't seen big protests or uh, they, they are, statements of condemnation. The, maybe maybe it's because it's, there's a fear of. Uh, yeah. Don't you think the Chinese population is a very the authorities are very possibly, you know, but we haven't seen much going mm, on in yeah, China, yeah, we haven't, frankly, uh, well, in terms of the international community. Once again, we haven't seen what the serious silence here. The mm. silence is deafening. You know, from international leaders uh, and the international community, uh, in terms of even media streams and stuff like that. Yeah. Once again, we don't see much. The, re the question is why, and the answer is it doesn't fit into the Western narrative, mm. the elitist Western narrative. Yeah, like you know, we went to Iraq because the Muslim population was being oppressed. We came to liberate them and get rid yeah. of Saddam. Yeah, you can do that with uh, the China exactly. if you like. But there's more to it than that. It's, mm. it, the, the narrative is that wherever you find Muslims, you find oppression and you find them being the oppressors. So the yeah. Muslim always have to be the Goliath in the situation. Mm. But here, when a Muslim is a minority being oppressed and killed and mm. tortured and put persecuted yeah. in in a country like China, yeah. then let's let's be silent about it because we don't want to be, you know, we don't want to we jeopardize the trade deals we have with China. Yeah. 